what's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers i'm barbas so i drove around for a little bit but there's way too many cops out tonight so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna forget about it i'm already back at the house and tomorrow it's supposed to be like 100 degrees outside so i'm gonna go ahead and continue to work on the engine we're gonna assemble a few more items so i'll see you in the morning so this might end up being a short video just a few minutes long I'm gonna go ahead and get started right now. So I'm gonna start by installing this guy. This guy goes right here, like that. And it just goes bolted in with these two bolts. So these are 14 millimeter. All right, so then this guy, this is the little sensor, the knock sensor, it just goes right here, just like that. Down here, we have our, I uh, believe it's the oil sensor or sending unit, or it's, it's something, I can't remember right now. But basically, that's what I'm gonna get my oil for my turbo setup. So basically, I'm just gonna tee off, put a T in here, and I'm gonna send one to the sensor I'm gonna send one to the turbo and I can send the next one to a gauge or something. But either way, this guy just goes in here. So I'm just gonna use a pair of uh, pliers right here and just tying this guy down. That's pretty much it. So now I'm going to go ahead, take this pipe, and put these guys on here. There's the first one, clip her around, there's the second one. So basically this thing is going to go like this, and it's going to go into here. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the other piece that goes at the other end which is this guy right here so basically for those of you that don't know it's got like this little thing on here just connects just like that it's kind of hard so you really gotta like muscle it in so this is what it looks like after it's clicked in there so now I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. There it is. Now I'm just going to put the bolts that go through here. So these bolts that go through, obviously one's bigger than the other. The bigger one goes on top, smaller one goes at the bottom. So I got them both pretty even right now. I'm gonna go ahead and tie in the bottom one now. Pretty solid, like him, solid. Hit the top. That should be plenty right there. So check out this side of the pipe, what it looks like. You can see me moving it a little bit price lighter back back and forth just a little bit 
Yeah, so basically, the water pump is gonna sit right on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on there. I believe this one goes from here up to the head somewhere, I'm not sure where. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mock up my alternator. Um, this might be an early stage to put the alternator on, but I'm just gonna mock it up and have it ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this down a little bit just so I don't lose that bolt. I cleaned this guy off camera and basically I'm gonna go ahead and install it. I know that they sell uh, like aftermarket stuff like uh, let's say like a plug that you could put in here instead and plug that hole up and then make a different kind of a breather box but the point of this breather box over here is for the pressure down here it's not meant for the pressure on the head so i'm gonna go ahead and install this guy back in there so this guy basically just gets pushed in there It has two little bolts, 10 millimeters. And these don't really matter how tight they are. I mean, they obviously gotta be tight enough where it's not gonna fall off or anything. But I meant like torque wise. And now, we could put our thing back in there. And this one is actually gonna run up through the intake manifold. And I don't remember if there's another connector that connects to that. And then it goes to the valve cover, it's something like that. So this is kind of what it looks like at this point. I got my puppies over here. This is Moon Rock. That's my Dia. Let me show you guys the cover. This is the cover that was on there. I went ahead and I cleaned it off completely. I don't know if you guys remember in the very first video when I got when I got the engine when I bought it, I had to transfer a few items. I think that's the first video I did on the D16A. So I had to transfer some some items and one of the items was the motor mount and I was forced 
to drill right here because I needed to pull that bolt out for the motor mount because the motor mount is different on I believe on this side yeah the motor mount on this side is different that this motor came with so I had to transfer it and use my old motor mount from the Civic that I have so in order to get to, to these bolts that are right here this is the bolts that I'm talking about I had to drill a hole on the cover so now I went ahead and I cleaned out the hole I made it a little bit straighter I wiped this whole thing down this cover is almost ready to go the dipsticks almost ready to go um, before I could install those I got to get my water pump my timing belt my tensioner and I got to put my uh, crankshaft pulley back on there so this is as far as I'm gonna get to today um, I'm debating right now whether I should put my wastegate on here just to continue the video for some content I don't see why not as a matter of fact the more stuff we assemble the closer we get to finishing the build so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this guy upside down let's see what we have here so I had done an unboxing of this before you guys already know what's on here if you haven't seen that go back a few videos catch up with the build Okay, so we have all our hardware right here. Basically, we got some gaskets, some short bolts, longer bolts. We got these guys. We got both of these, two of these. We got this, this is our fire ring. And I have this thing. I believe this thing, this is from a different thing. It might be from, from this. I think this came with this right here, with this pipe. So we'll just keep that to the side. And then we have these two spacers. So I don't think I'm going to use any spacers on here. I'm going to use them actually over here. So basically this is a top mount so imagine it on the engine you're looking directly at the car you're sit you're standing in front of the car there's your engine and this guy is he's gonna go like that our turbo is gonna sit on top and then this guy is gonna sit underneath so I'm debating whether I use these spacers on the side of this because then this pipe connects to the side right here to, to this thing right here so using those spacers to put this guy on the side to try to get him to whip around to come up like this since I'm gonna try to do a, a hood exit so basically let's flip this guy back around basically we're just gonna put our gasket we're gonna flip this guy upside down throw our fire ring in there short bolts right through right here like that okay so this is kind of what it looks like the side does matter so basically I want it on this side I don't want it on this side I don't want the exit on this side I want it that side so I'm gonna go ahead put my fire ring my gasket my two bolts
Now I gotta get an Allen key that'll fit in there. So I got this guy nice and tight now. I use an Allen key to tighten it down. Um, we are gonna have to open this, take all these off, so we could pull one of the springs out because there's two springs in there right now, and that's way too much. Um, that's 20 pounds that I'll be putting into the engine when I'm trying to break the engine in. So now I'm gonna put both of these like this and put this gasket right here and that's gonna sit right there like that. So I don't know if this is gonna be long enough to go through the hood but we'll figure something out. If not, we'll go ahead and we'll spin it back downward. So then this guy is going to go right here. Yeah, and I think it's definitely going to be a little bit short. We're going to have to figure something out. Might have to go get an extra piece welded on there. So there it is. When you spin it around, that's what it's going to look like. So now we're going to have to get some bolts that are going to go through here, which are going to hold the turbo on, on top. I don't have those, so I might go to Ace Hardware and try to find something. Okay, so now we have these guys right here. There's two of them. There's two holes right here. Right here and right here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna use the top hole. So I'm gonna thread this guy in there. And for this one, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tying this down a little bit don't want to strip it remember this is uh, eBay I got this from a seller on eBay so you already know this is a cheap part right here but it is gonna get the job done I guarantee it so I just went ahead and I noticed that I put this on the wrong side, guys. I actually want, when this goes on here, the turbo, I want the turbo to sit right here. So I got to take this one and the other one back off and spin this around. Yeah. I was kind of rushing it because it, it's really hot. Look at me. I am sweating really bad right now. And I think that's what I had to do with it but the way how I want it I want the exhaust to exit on this side I want the turbo to be on the right side so I'm gonna do that really quick I'm gonna put the turbo up here so you guys can see my vision of what I'm talking about that's what I want it to to look like to sit like the turbo does need to be clocked. That's not how it's gonna sit. That will happen when the turbo goes into the Civic, when the engine goes into the Civic and everything's assembled on there. This does feel pretty heavy. This thing is pretty heavy also. But yeah, this is gonna be it, you guys, for this video. I'm completely drenched. I need to take a shower. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. Peace.